guys, so I am recording during the day because the light is awful in my room, so I have the natural light coming in, which I can't stand during the day, still recovering, and I've been really emotional, and, but kind of in a good way, I uh, have had, I always have had a trouble crying and um through a therapist and I or not a therapist a psychologist and I working um I try to work on these ways to kind of force myself to cry because I need a lot of crying because um that and but that was even before I was sick I hold all my emotions inside which is like part of my codependency um because I feel like people won't like me or think I'm weird if I like cry in front of them I don't know it's really strain so but I still tend to keep my emotions inside and even like I was like I don't want to cry in front of Bella which like makes no sense whatsoever so I try to watch things sometimes that are like make me cry and it's like a nice release of emotions and feels really good um because I have really bad really bad anxiety and um Especially coming back and making so many doctor's appointments like all at once and feeling so horrible it's like just because I have a um I have well, I have social anxiety but I also have like more acute around scheduled things um so it could be like even if I like scheduled to get my nails done I would have like panic attacks before it um but so you can imagine with doctor's appointments, which make normal people just feel like, ugh, I don't have to go to a doctor's appointment. But for me, it, like all these scenarios go through my head and it gets crazy and I have tons of anxiety. So um, I don't like to have too much schedule, but I really have a lot of things that I have to hit. Mm, feeling awful on top of it is just, uh, I don't even want to talk actually about it anymore because it's making me really anxious. But, um, hopefully I'm going to be seeing my friends soon. Um, I think one of my best friends is coming over tonight to see me, um, to just say hi. And then tomorrow my life group is watching a movie and I think someone's going to come pick me up and hopefully I'll be able to go to that. I don't really know though, it depends on how I feel, but I'm really trying to be optimistic because it really sounds like a lot of fun because they're going to watch Frozen and eat ice cream and I would love that, just let it go. And then this weekend my other best friend who it doesn't live in the area is going to be visiting and she's going to be staying at my house and I just cannot wait because I haven't seen her in forever. But, um, so I'm really excited for those things, but then, of course, always I get really anxious and nervous, and what if I don't feel well, and what if this, and what if that, and what if I'm really sick, and I can't do anything, and blah, blah, blah. I just wanted to make a video where I don't look like I'm, I mean, I am depressed and anxious and all sorts of hot mess, but I wanted to make a video where you can actually see me expressing my feelings and emotions and being a hot mess. I have been able to sleep somewhat, which is good. And I had night terrors two nights, but um, I didn't last night, so count that as a victory. Okay, I hope you guys are having a stress-free pain-free day. Make sure you're checking out Jim's vlogs and make sure you check out Julie's vlog and